Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. There is a shaking going on in the lives of God's people. But I want to say to you, embrace the possibilities and reject the fear. There are times when God says, I'm doing a new thing. Forget the things of the past. Forget the old things. Don't even keep that in mind. I'm doing a new thing. Shall you not know it? So God will help you understand, but you must follow on to know. You must obey, trust and obey. As you trust, as you obey, it will be made known to you. Every next step will be shown to you as you follow the first and the second and the third. Then the fourth step will be shown to you. Then once you follow that fourth step, the fifth step will be shown to you. You have no idea what new things God may be setting you up for. There may be a a shift in the spirit realm where God wants to use you at a higher level. You never thought of, but you got to go through this in order to be qualified to do that. Ooh, of a pencil. Think of this. God gives me the craziest examples. You have a pencil. What is the purpose of a pencil? To write, to communicate a message on a surface, normally paper. Now, how do you, when you buy a pencil, what does it normally look like? It's long and it's usually on one end is a ro- is an eraser. On the other end is a blunt edge. There's no point. There's no nothing. You can't write with that. So what does that pencil have to go through in order to fulfill its purpose and be useful to you in its purpose? It must go through the grinding process of, mm, think about it. It must go through the grinding process of a pencil sharpener, whether it's electric or manual. If I were that wood, I would not be happy feeling myself being chipped away at. And life makes you at times feel like you're being chipped away at. But God is sharpening you. He is sharpening you. He's making you an instrument for the kingdom. You just have no idea what God is getting you ready to be used as. You have no idea. Go through the sharpening in peace. Go through the sharpening, trusting, even when the sharpening season and the sharpening It it may feel like a siege on you right now. Trust God, believe God, thank him for what he's preparing you for. Because there are some things you will never be able to minister in. There are some things you will never be able to work in. You certain assignments you'll never be able to fulfill without that experience, without that knowledge under your belt. So you've got to go through the sharpening process. And yes, it may hurt and it may make you feel humiliated. You may feel like you're losing too much. There's too much being torn away from you. But there, when you look at that blunt pencil, oh, golly, why can't I find something? Okay, here we go. The blunt pencil, the edge is like this. You can't write with that. You can't do anything with it. But with a point. When you get through sharpening, look at all, all of the excess that has to be chipped away at. Look at all of this that has to be shaved away. There's a lot that you may lose. And it may break your heart. But listen, that's why you cannot become too connected and attached to stuff. Because as God pulls people out of your life and things out of your life and attachments out of your life and, and, and connections and whatever the case may be, you are steadily getting sharper. Mm, 
sharper and you're so sharp that God is able at that point to use you to convey his message to the world. That says it right there in a nutshell.